Funding for this program made possible by Dockyards Bank and Trust. Cancer. It's an ugly word, and it's even uglier when mixed with children. One Kentucky nonprofit is working behind the scenes to help kids that are undergoing treatment deal with the burden of fighting such a tough battle at such an early age. Let's meet Kids Cancer Alliance. I realize that this is more than just a camp for some kids having fun. This is a family. Our camp program started out 32 years ago. Um, started with a group of volunteers from the Kentucky Cancer Program. Um, they actually came up with the idea of hosting a summer camp just for kids with cancer. So they took it upon themselves, I mean, uh, to, just to put together a, a little camping trip. It's just by their wonderful work, they got it started. The people that go up there uh, will donate a whole week of their vacation to spend with these children in July. Most of these people only get two weeks vacation a year, but some of them are actually given a half of it away just to spend with these kids. And many of those counselors are former campers, see? So you talk about credibility with the, new, the newly diagnosed children and their families and parents, that their counselor has been through this, that their counselors know what it's like to get, a, to get this cancer diagnosis. They know what it's like to lose their hair or, or have some big scars, an artificial arm or eye. You know, when you come to our camp, you, kids go swimming, they're taking their legs off to go in the water. And the bond that I see when these kids show up, they don't know each other sometimes. They'll come to camp and they'll get assigned a cabin. And then all of a sudden you can actually hear the volume start to go up. And the bond is now being made. And they're within a couple of hours. It's, it's a, an incredible thing to witness. By the end of the camp, they're best of friends. So we have two hospital programs that are inpatient. We have the meal program, which is going on now. Um, that's when we bring goodie bags, volunteers, decorations, and a big home-cooked family meal. Typically families come in, they eat with us, hang out, have fun. It just kind of gets them out of their rooms. Sometimes it's almost nice to do this for the parents and the families and the nurses and the doctors who are rushing between meals to, to treat the kids. The second program that we do in hospital is our camp-in program. We bring all of the traditional summer camp things that you would have at summer camp into the hospital setting. So we set up a tent, we make s'mores, which is, is really amazing to just to see the kids experience the same things they, they experience at camp and those friendships. We have seen the same thing happening and the same results um, happening in the inpatient environment. It, it is the unfortunate reality of cancer that some kids aren't going to make it. So when they come to one of our programs or our camps, we don't know if some of the kids are going to be there next year. On average, we probably have one to, to three children pass away a year. For any child who's passed away that year that's been involved in any of our programs, we have a closing campfire ceremony and we release a balloon in the air um, and send up our well wishes and our love and um, support to, to them. And we also engrave their name on um, a wood pole that we have that comes to all of our programs so that they're always with us and always a part of our family. Well, in, in July of 2010, um, my then six-year-old son, Adam, was diagnosed with medulloblastoma. And for these weeks that he's able to go to camp, he's just like every other kid. And he gets to do the same kinds of things that he would have been able to do had he not been uh, a cancer survivor, but he gets to do it with kids who know exactly what it's like, you know, to be different, to be bald, to um, have your life revolve around you know, hospital and doctor's appointments. He doesn't worry about his spelling tests. You know, he worries about, are my counts high enough? And you know, am I gonna end up in the hospital because I get a fever? It's so wonderful to know that there are people who get it, who understand you, who want to provide a service for your, your child and to have your child you know, be able to experience normal childhood things. You know, I think if this wasn't available, for me personally, it would be a very, very sad experience. It would leave a huge hole for you know, the state of Kentucky, for the city of Louisville. If this camp wasn't here, that hole would be enormous. And I, and I think that this town and the, and the state would really feel it. It's a sad day because I think there's so much time that it just is 
spent sitting in a hospital room or in a bed and if you can find ways to break it up whether it be camp or coming in and having a meal with the staff and with other families and having that community um, if that was gone then you're just taking away any kind of light or joy that you know they might have to look forward to. If Kids Cancer Alliance wasn't around they might not be able to cope with their illness they might feel alone and I think their families would feel the same. They love Kids Cancer Alliance and you know we feel like we're just one big family so I couldn't imagine you know not having that. We are a huge part of these children's life much more than just a place to go and hang out for a week. And I think it's important to, to count your blessings and certainly Indian Summer Camp is one of those blessings. You know you think it would be a really sad time you think it would be you know heartbreaking but it is like the most in inspiring thing ever. Because that's what we strive to do is give them back part of their childhood that cancer took away.